Hi, I am Dr. Suresh Ita Raman. Today I am I am at Tunnel Valley. Today we are going to meet an uh, expert here. I am going to introduce a good expert. He is a good friend of mine, Amit. Uh, hi Amit, how are you? Yeah, I am fine sir. He is from ARK Info Solutions. Uh, today I am going to have a lot of uh, questions with him. Uh, I hope that person is going to address the uh, student's thought process. Because you no, know, today is in day to day life. I can able to witness a lot of engineering students are only uh, thinking about the IT employability skills, and IT employment is the only way of employment. On the other side, we have a very good and core engineering job market. Here, there is an expert with us. He is going to give what is the insight about the job market and the simulation process, and how we are going to learn the simulations. How this particular simulation is going to help you and support you in um, in getting a fine in in finding. A suitable job. Um, I hope uh, in that way, this particular interview will guide you in a right way. Amit, yeah. um, how are you? Yeah, I am fine. Uh, how was the day? Yeah, it was fine. So how was your travel? Yeah, it was a uh, bit hectic, but uh, anyway, it's <laughs> fine. It's thanks, good. thanks for and it's uh, it's very good uh, visiting uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, especially the Tamil Valley area. Yes, yeah. and. Uh, uh, even I am uh, working from Tamil Nadu region. I am associated with Tamil Nadu region from last 17-18 years. Yeah. Okay. My previous uh, employer was also from uh, Chennai region. Okay. Okay. So I am very very well with uh, Tamil Nadu, and uh, uh, I am in this academic field from last 20 23 years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I regularly meet a uh, lot of professors. Uh -huh. And uh, many of the top uh, institutions I have met with HODs, directors, and uh, I know this mar market very well. And I am observing from last 2020, uh, uh, 2001, and now today to 2023. Yeah, that's what uh, I said. I have met a right person who is very good. He is having a very good connection with uh, no academy. Yeah. So I think you no, know, this um, particular uh, interview will give you a very good insight uh, to the budding minds. Amit. Um, I hope you visited a lot of uh, academic uh, industry, right? You met a lot of professors, directors, not only in Tamil Nadu, uh, across the across country, the right? Yeah. And even you crossed overseas also. Um, what is the gap actually you try to find uh, in the academy when it is uh, when it is related to an in industrial needs? See, uh, in my view, uh, industry work in a specific domain. Okay. And... Uh, our uh, syllabus based on the technical universities uh, actually there is a gap okay okay so somewhere somewhere if we match the requirement of the industry with our academic syllabus and we can improve our skills i think industry can adopt the students very well so this is the biggest gap right now right now i i feel because uh, industry want the ready-made engineers, they don't want to train. They want to pick. Uh, they want to pick from the college, okay, based on their knowledge, and they can. Uh, uh, they want. Uh, they want to put them into the work. Okay, they start uh, doing the job. They start giving the return. They start giving the ROI. All these things they are. They don't want to train. Okay. So training part on the specific domain, on the product specific or technology specific specific is not available in our current uh, syllabus or in the scenario so that's what uh, we are we are like. okay nice. in that way you know how the ARK infotech solutions or ARK is helping in that uh, bridging the gap between the industry and academy see ARK uh, ARK is working first of all we are giving the awareness to the student we are doing a workshop on the latest and emerging technologies so most of the institutions we are doing and uh, we are targeting to the faculties also we are targeting deans deans of the institution or the college also we are targeting to the students also okay and we are doing the fdp also on new and emerging technologies mm -hmm. right now i'm basically associated with the ansys product uh -huh. i'm in the simulation market uh -huh. so simulation is basically is the need simulation need starts from the after first year itself uh -huh. From third semester, so normally, uh, yeah, normally when we study, you no, know, we thought that, you no, know, we think that 
the simulation is to be only uh, done only in the third year and the final year as a project. Yes, yes. But it is it's it's a need of our no no students have to understand that the simulation is not the something we have to wait and learn. It's a need of that you have to learn immediately. Uh, immediately after uh, first year, that was his statement. Uh, please make a note on this. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So uh, simulation is not like the specific uh, uh, specific product, specific technology you are targeting, and this will start after three years or after four years or in post graduation or the PhD purpose itself. In simulation starts from the third year, th third semester itself, from the education education, yeah. because uh, electronic circuit designing and all these things are. Very well possible with the simulation. Okay, there are a lot of product you can design in the simulation. Okay, you cannot design in the real world, but you can design based on the simulation. You can design in the lab laboratory stuff. Like I can give the example of the bridge. You cannot design, but on, based on the simulation, at least you can design. You can simulate. Okay, what are the features? What are the traction parameters are there? And what are the other parameters you can maintain? And what is the predictions of that particular technology? So all these things are possible with the simulation within the lab environment, okay. and that is very cost effective also. Okay. Suppose if you are using, if you are taking the machinery in real time, that cost will be very high. Exactly. But the same thing in two lakh, three lakh, four lakh, five lakh, on low cost, low, low, low cost basis, you can set up in the laboratory. Exactly. exactly. And student can get the learning also. The same thing industry also they doing the same thing. Okay. No, you're talking about uh, ANSYS, no? That is a myth that ANSYS is only meant for mechanical or uh, civil. That was a myth actually. Mm. When when I talk to the people, when I ask about, do you know about ANSYS and uh, what do you, in which tool you are working for? Now the people says that uh, uh, ANSYS is only meant for mechanical and uh, uh, civil engineering. And what are the areas that ANSYS is really covering? See, ANSYS is mostly now in every field. Okay. okay. ANSYS has acquired uh, more than uh, 25 companies or 35 companies in the last uh, uh, 3 to 5 years of span and uh, they have the reach in every domain and uh, uh, most of the technology they are covering. They are in optics, they are in semiconductor, they are in high frequency, they are in low frequency, PCB designing, mechanical, uh, civil, structure. So they have the uh, reach, uh, they have reach to every, every most of the segment they are cover covering now, nowadays. And uh, if something is left out, I think they can they 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 will be planning to uh, to come into that field also, also. And uh, uh, mostly uh, mostly ANSYS is not uh, nowadays related to mechanical or uh, fluent only. Mm. They are good. The major revenue is coming from electronics only. Okay. okay. Their ma major revenue comes. There is something sixty to seventy percent revenue comes from the electronic industry also. Mm -hmm. They have very good HFSS tool, high frequency tool, they have the electromagnetic magnetic tool, they are in opticals, they are in uh, optical simulation, they have GMAX, they have SPOs, they have uh, Lumerical. So uh, the lot of a lot of they are now in embedded also it's scaled. They are semiconductor red off. So uh, they, they are in many of the field and those those uh, those modules and the products we are giving as a teaching bundle to the education institu institution, okay, so that student can learn those new technologies on very low cost, 99 percent reduced reduced cost from the commercial mark com commercial cost. That that is like, we are giving uh, that's, that's a good news actually. actually. No, no, that's 99.9 percent .9 from the commercial, commercial cost. Commercial. It is very least cost. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, for for teaching and lab lab purposes, so student can learn all these modules free of cost, and the uh, the features are the same. We are not reducing the feature. We are not. Uh, uh, minimizing the features, no no delimitation nowadays. So everything is available for education point of view, so that a student can learn and they can make their self and they can adopt the market, and industry can come and they can. Good. They can. That was very can interesting. Be placed, yeah. They can be placed. Uh, that was very interesting actually, right? Uh, I came to understand that uh, answers is. Um, Answers is fetched into all type of uh, engineering and they are doing a kind of uh, all kind of uh, tools and everything, right? It's supporting every material part of engineering. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What else that the ARK is doing uh, other, rather than this Answers? Yeah, so ARK is basically the 10 years old company and uh, uh, the turnover is crossed uh, 400 CR uh, last year and uh, they are in. Uh, 
it different different uh, different different uh, zone and the different different product more than 35 product they are reselling nowadays uh -huh. we have offices in almost all the cities head offices in noida in, in delhi and uh, uh, we are the elite partner of the okay. ensis oh, so we are selling ensis in commercial market also we are selling in academic also i am the academic uh, uh, academic uh, regional manager i am looking south india and uh, uh, on academic point of view we are selling we are selling not apart uh, not, not only uh, ensis we are selling metlab also in some of the region okay we are selling we are in ar vr we have the mind box also for content content uh, 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 engineering contents uh, related uh, school contents related kind of uh, um, uh, product so uh, apart apart from that we are in uh, we are the dis we are distributing some other product now we are uh, we are moving towards the broadcast broadcasting uh, segment we are setting up the studios and <coughs> and uh, uh, other thing but majorly we are i am related to the education field academic background only and i am target what kind field. of uh, what kind of support that you can extend to the student community in terms of internships or uh, what not as uh, ark representative we are always open the uh, uh, always internship options are open with ark so anyone can apply on our website for internship okay we have the very smooth process okay uh, they can apply on the website and uh, they can be uh, we can arrange one interview they can show their project whatever they are doing and uh, we pay some uh, some some charges during their, their internship period also and 6 uh, uh, month if we feel they are good in the technology and they are well trained they can manage the uh, manage the customers and the industry uh, we can recruit them as an employee also so that was a very good news and great news anyway thank you for your time ahmed uh, today i have a very good time i hope this particular interview will give you an insight and it's an eye opening interview for you uh, students try to understand that and you you are only um, your thought process is to be slightly modified and should be changed because world is very big and you are living within a circle that's what i thought i want to leave you in this particular video anyway thank you amit for this uh, you allotted time in your busy schedule thank, thank you. you thank you, thank you.